Hello and welcome to the Hawkeyes coverage of the Mallink Terrace High School Executive ASB Elections 2014. I'm Nick Fiorillo from the Hawkeye and I welcome you to the 2014 ASB Treasurer Candidate Forum. This forum is brought to you by the Hawkeye, the student news source of Mallink Terrace High School. Production considerations are provided by HBN. There will be four topics on which the unopposed candidate will answer questions. The candidate will deliver a two-minute opening statement prior to questioning. The candidate will then have one minute to respond to each question. Then they will have the opportunity for open dialogue about the topic for two minutes. To end the forum, the candidate will each deliver a one-minute closing statement. Many people offered ideas for questions and topics through social media and other mediums, but the Hawkeye Editorial Board made the final decision on all questions and topics for this forum. Those are the rules. Let's begin. We now welcome the candidate for the treasurer position, Gene Ahn. We go first to opening statements. Mr. Ahn, please make your opening statement. You have two minutes. Hi, my name is Gene Ahn and I'm the sophomore class president and will be your 2014-2015 ASB treasurer. Something I want you to know about me is that in these two past years of ASB experience, I've met new people, I've gone to plenty of leadership opportunities, and the main thing is I've learned a lot of things that I want to bring to the table next year to make your high school experience amazing. Our first topic is regarding fiscal health. How can ASB generate more funds to support clubs, academics, sports, and extracurricular activities? You have one minute to answer the question. Something that you guys probably noticed about this year is that our sports teams have been doing amazing. I mean, we have people going to state, we have even regionals, counts, districts, anything. But the one thing about that, the only downside about that is the kind of the cost and the downside of um, being so good. And something that I want to personally try and take care of with my team, or ASB and you, is to make sure that funds are fairly distributed to each of the teams and not even just teams, we can go further to um, clubs and stuff like that. And yeah. Ooh. Now you'll have two minutes to discuss the topic of fiscal health as it relates to Terrace. The floor is yours. Something you also need to know about ASB is that as we are kind of, we kind of provide these opportunities for or to raise this money, to raise the money for, to support our teams but we also depend on you as the student body to support us. And that's one of the main things I want to talk about later on. Our next topic is related to fiscal health as well. We're talking this time about cost for students. What would you call an ASB card to be too expensive? How would you say high, how high is too high? What would you do to lower costs for students? You'll have one minute. Again, the, um, I've heard from many schools and friends from across the state and across the country that like some schools their ASB cards are maybe from ranging from $25 to $75 and another thing is that they don't, some schools don't even have sports fees and that is all due to kind of ASB funding all of that stuff and my goal would definitely be trying to reduce that price because a lot of students are on free and reduced lunch at school which is good because I'm really grateful that our school and our district provides that. But I really also like to kind of make it open to people that aren't on free and reduced lunch for them to have cheaper costs for ASB cards and things like that. Once again, two minutes to speak on ASB finance and costs for students. I just want to reiterate the fact that as uh, this money crisis or crisis that we're having, really, we kind of depend on the student body itself to support us. Um, it's your school, it's our school that we're supporting, so I think we all have a responsibility to try and figure things out. Our next topic is regarding inclusivity. How would you include students in financial decisions for ASB? How would you seek out student opinion for all decisions? You have one minute. Again, uh, my class ASB actually brought up this really good idea about using this box and basically during either school lunches or at any certain point, you could just write on a slip of paper and put it in and kind of input your opinion. Uh, to go further than that, I think it's also important to have um, direct and verbal contact. And uh, through my connections throughout this school, I'd like to be able to, I know I'm able to talk to many of my friends and peers and even strangers that they may not know me yet about this 
uh, problem. Once again, two minutes to discuss the topic of inclusivity. Something that I think definitely our school can do is um, really unite. In my, in my head, uh, the idea of the whole school uniting under like one kind of group is almost impossible, but the idea of maybe if I just reach out to some of my friends, they can reach out to their friends, and then their friends can reach out to their friends, and be kind of a chain reaction that would ultimately, well, it could unite our school, and I think that's one of the biggest goals that we should have. Our final topic for the forum is the mission and purpose of ASB. What are the duties and responsibilities of the Associated Student Body at MTHS? You have one minute. So you already know that ASB kind of handles a lot, of the, a lot of the big school events like homecoming and assemblies, but also I'd, um, I think the main mission for ASB really is, again, to serve these students. But I think the amazing thing about ASB is that you don't, it's not just one central goal or purpose that we can have, we can have multiple, yet you can bring all that to the table and you can combine things and you could make up for some people's weaknesses or they can make up for your weaknesses and our strengths together can be combined and we can achieve success. Anything else you'd like to add regarding the mission and purpose of ASB? You'll have two minutes. Really, I think I just, some people have this kind of wrong idea of what ASB is about, but really I think I want to assure you that ASB is trying everything to do for the better of the student body, and I'd really like your support to support all of us. That concludes our question and conversation portion of the forum. Mr. An will now have one minute to make his concluding statement. Relating back to this inclusivity, inclusivity, inclusiveness idea, uh, there, I went to this leadership camp recent, recently in the last summer called Mount Triumph, and there the whole theme was this idea of you mattering, and that I believe that no matter who you are, no matter what, what you view yourself or what you view others, you matter, and I believe that you should know that you matter, and ultimately, thank you for listening. That concludes this forum. Thank you to the candidate and to HBN for production considerations. Be sure to see all of the Hawkeye's coverage for ASB Executive Elections 2014 online at thehawkeye.org.